project management. Everyone manages projects. Whether it's a million dollar ad campaign, enterprise wide software upgrade, remodeling your bathroom, or a family vacation. Basic project management skills help to improve your success in staying on deadline, on budget, and in scope. Overall, improving your outcome. Ian McLeod here. Word. Project Management Institute, the leader in project management certification. Compare companies with little to no project manager designation to those with clear project management titles and found that limited project management companies meet project deadlines by 39%, budgets by 44%, and scope by 50%. Training for project management certification is extensive. I'll be sharing very high level concepts and terms to help progress your knowledge and success with projects. There are four phases to managing a project. Visualize, plan, implement, and close. So say my project is lawn care and landscaping. I typically dive right in without any proper planning or preparation. What I thought would take an hour ends up with eight trips to the home improvement store, taking the whole weekend, and is often incomplete. Visualize. Most of us invest some time into thinking and discussing what is needed to complete a project. However, following management steps to visualize and plan will dramatically increase the success of your project. First, it's important to identify your stakeholders. Those who have stake in the outcome and ultimately gauge the success of the project. Most likely folks who have asked you to manage this project. In my lawn care example, my wife is the stakeholder. Once those persons have been identified, hold a stakeholder interview. Gather their vision, the why, the what, but the how is for you and your project team to figure out. Listen for their desired outcomes. This should also be the time to determine what is their available resources, budget, and timeline. Use this information to develop a smart goal specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-bound. It's important you understand the parameters as your role is to keep this project on deadline, budget, and scope. Brainstorming. There are numerous techniques for brainstorming. Ishikawa fishbone diagram, stepladder technique, rapid ideation. I prefer mind mapping. You and your project team capture all the ideas and steps needed to consider and complete your project. Organize, align, and map your ideas so you can see how they group together and intersect. For me, this is a vital step as this allows your project team to get everyone's ideas, thoughts, and concerns captured. It's also a great team building activity as everyone is visualizing the project together and everyone can begin to see what role each member will take and the value each member brings. Depending on the size of your project, you may need to hold smaller mind mapping sessions with your sub teams to get into the minutia of their work plan. Once the ideas are captured, it helps to organize those into some form of timetable. There are numerous tools out there. Airtable is a free organizing platform for project management. This will help to understand which tasks can occur in tandem and independently from one another and which tasks need to come before others can start. Trigger points. I should go to the gardening store for flowers before I dig holes to plant. Your plan will help to track each task and hold your project team accountable to ensure you are staying on deadline, budget, and scope. You can identify the completion of key components of your project, milestones, as well determine those hotspots, steps, or components that you may be uncertain about success or that may be out of your control. You'll want to develop possible contingency plans for these areas. The weather could impact my deadline, so I need to think about an alternative possible date. Implement. If you have planned well, implementation should be a matter of now going through the steps. As a project manager, your focus is communication and accountability. Routinely checking in with your team to ensure each member is staying on task with timeline and budget. Accountability comes with reminding team members of the big picture and how their work impacts the others, particularly those steps with trigger points. Your graphic designer can't complete the poster until your logistics team determines location, date, and time of your event. Managing project creep. Keeping your project within scope is essential to reaching your budget and timeline goals. You will 
often uncover opportunities that require additional focus or improvement. As I'm working on the front lawn, we realize it would be nice to add a small fence or some artificial grass in the shady areas. Reminding your stakeholders and project team of your timeline and budget is essential to the project's success. Closing your project. True projects should have a close. If you have a project that has no clear end, that's a program, not a project. As you celebrate the various milestones and your project begins to wrap up, it's beneficial to consider the close and evaluation of your project. Discuss results with your stakeholders, lessons learned with your team, and determine next steps. You may conclude that you must initiate a second iteration to gather more data, build off your marketing success, or build that retaining wall. Visualize, plan, implement, close, and your next project will successfully meet your timeline, budget, and scope. Happy project managing! Please subscribe as we'll be creating more leadership videos soon and check out our other videos to further your development. Thanks for your time. If you are interested in taking a deeper dive, check Remote Life Consulting. We offer business and personal development services with a focus on remote work from home leadership.